This is a third problem for a practice exam. Uh, this is a transfer function where this is y. Okay, so this is our output. And uh, then we have an input. Okay, so our input um, is x and our output is y. And this is a transfer function that relates the input to output. Okay, so we often write it like this in block diagram form um, where we have an input and then an output and that transfer function relates the two. Well first of all we're just going to look at the input. Okay so this is our x of s and uh, sometimes we put the prime here just to denote deviation variable. Sometimes we just drop it in the Laplace domain because we assume that everything is in deviation form. Okay so we have something that has a 2 divided by s um, times 0.5s plus 1. Okay, and then we also have something here that's minus uh, e to the negative 5s divided by s squared. And then we have a plus e to the negative 7s divided by s squared. Okay, so we want to be able to sketch this. Okay, so sketch uh, the shape of the input function x of s in the time domain. And then as a final thing, we'll derive the expression for the output y of t. Okay, so um, I'm just going to take each piece individually here and uh, you know I can use the Laplace tables if I want to um, to be able to see what these functions are going to look like. Okay so I look for something that, that looks like this first term. Okay and if I go down to number 13 okay so let me grab um, this number 13 here. Okay and um, then just come back to my okay come back to my sheet and uh, I'll go ahead and just drop it um, right here okay and I'll make this just a little bit smaller okay so I see that if I have a uh, transfer function that looks like this first form that I could transfer it back into the time domain with 1 minus e to the minus uh, t over tau. Okay, so I have something that looks like, um, I'll put this as my, my first one, my first element. I'm going to have something that's going to be um, 2 times 1 minus e to the minus t over um, 0 0.5. Okay, so I can sketch this. This is going to be something that's going to eventually go up to a value of 2. Okay, and uh, it's going to get there, 63% of the way there. And so that would be e to the 1 minus e to the negative 1 um, in 0 0.5. Uh, and one time constant is uh, 0 0.5. Okay, so that's my, my first element that I have. Now let's go ahead and do this um, this next one. I have 1 over s squared. Okay, so if I come back to the Laplace tables, I'll see that um, you know 1 over s squared is right here, and that's just going to be time or a ramp. Okay, and then the, the next thing I need from this is, well, I saw that e to the uh, negative theta p. Um, I'm going to need this this one right here which is the time delay. Okay so wherever I see um, that time delay I'm just going to plug in I'll make that just a little bit bigger I'm going to plug in t minus time delay and then multiply by this s function here um, and that's going to be a step that starts at t0. Okay so um, let me come back to the practice exam. Um, okay so my second one my second one is going to be something that's going to be a ramp, okay? But it's going to start um, at a time of five, okay? And this one's actually going to go down, so a slope of negative one, and that's just going to continue off to infinity. And then I have a third one, okay? So here's time zero, and then at seven seconds. Okay, over time of 7, then it's going to go up with a slope of 1. 
And so if I just add these together, so x of t equals x1 of t plus x2 of t plus x3 of t, okay, then I'm going to get something that's going to be my final uh, form. So first of all, this is going to come up to a value of nearly 2. And then at uh, 5 seconds, okay, then it's going to start sloping down. And then at 7 seconds, it's going to be... This isn't that good. Let me start over on this. Okay, so it's going to start off. It's going to come up to a value of 2. And then at 5 seconds, it's going to head down with a slope of negative 1. Okay, so it came up to 2, had a slope of, of negative 1, and so from 5 to 7, that's going to have a delta that is negative 2. So I'm going to be back at 0 again. And then if I add in this positive slope, it'll cancel out the negative 1, and I'll be left with something that looks like this. Okay, so that's going to be my x of t. So that's my, my input function that I had... Um, that I was able to sketch out. Okay, so now we want to derive an expression of y prime of t. So what we're going to do is, is just multiply. Um, so I have my x of s here, and I'm just going to multiply this over right here. And then I have y prime of s, and then I'll do an inverse Laplace on that to get it back into the time domain. Okay, so um, let's just go ahead and write y of s is going to be equal to 2 over 3s plus 1 times 2s times 0.5s plus 1 okay, plus 2 over 3s plus 1 and then I'm going to have an s squared here and an e to the minus uh, 5s okay, so I need to actually multiply that by a negative here uh, because I have that, that negative term and then I also am going to add this same thing, but with a time delay of 7. Okay, so there is um, y of s. Now we just want to do an inverse Laplace transform. So let's just see if we have this first term here in the uh, Laplace tables. Okay, so I'm going to come back over um, to the Laplace tables. And uh, let's just search for that one. Okay, so um, if we look around, we'll see um, actually this number uh, 20 here. Okay, where I had two uh, first order systems just multiplied by each other. And so let me grab that one. Okay, but tau 1 cannot equal tau 2. So um, I'll go ahead and copy this and then come back to my exam and I'm just going to go off on the right hand side here okay I'll just make that a little bit smaller um, and let's just go ahead and paste this here make this one just a little bit smaller okay so this first term um, you know I'm just going to be um, I'm just going to have, you know, I've got to put it into kind of a standard form. Okay, so let's let's do that first. Okay, so we'll do term um, number one. It's our number one term. Okay, and that's going to be um, 4 divided by s times uh, 3s plus 1 times 0.5s plus 1. Okay, so in this case, tau 1 equals... 3 and tau 2 equals 0 0.5 and then I have a gain of 4. So um, inverse Laplace then um, that's going to be 1 plus uh, 1 divided by okay so this is going to be 2.5 okay so 3 minus 0 0.5 and then multiplied by okay and that's going to be tau 1 which was 3 times e to the minus t over 3 minus, and then tau 2 is 0 0.5, e to the minus t 
t over 0 0.5. Okay, so that's our first term, and I'll just put a box around. I need to also multiply by my gain here, which was 4. Okay, so I need to multiply all of that by 4. Let's, let's go after our term um, number 2 now, which is going to be this one. Okay, so I'll go ahead and just copy it down here. Um, that's going to be minus 2 over s squared times 3s plus 1. Okay, so let's go back to our Laplace tables and see if we can find it. Okay, so we'll, um, we're back here and uh, we're looking through our Laplace tables, at least this version of the Laplace tables. Um, you know, we don't see it. Uh, we see a uh, 1 over s squared here, um, but I don't see a 1 over s squared times that um, other function. Okay, so it um, looks like we're going to need to do partial fractions here. So let's come back over here, and uh, what we'll do, um, so I forgot the e to the minus 5s. We'll just leave that out of it for now. We'll just do the uh, partial fraction expansion on um, this part. Okay, so um, let's see. I'm just going to do it on 2. Okay, so that was term number 2, but um, we'll just add in the negative and the time delay later. Okay, so um, let's go ahead and do partial fraction expansion. I'll just do alpha over alpha 1 over s plus alpha 2 over s squared um, plus alpha 3. Okay, so we had a repeated root here, so we needed to uh, have two terms, uh, 1, 2, and then alpha 3 is going to be 3s plus 1. Okay, so we're um, transforming it into terms that we see in the Laplace tables. Now you could probably get away with, well, I, I won't uh, do this, but you could probably get away with something like that because we did see that in the Laplace tables. Let's go ahead and do this as just the elementary ones. Okay, so then I multiply um, by the denominator, um, multiply through um, this denominator over here. Okay, so I'm going to get uh, 2 equals, and then that's going to be s times 3s plus 1 um, times alpha 1 plus um, alpha 2 times 3s plus 1. Okay, plus alpha 3 times s squared. Okay, so the first thing I want to do then is um, let me just go ahead and select values of s. Okay, so to make this easy, s equals 0. And then uh, this term is going to go away, and that term is going to go away. And then I have alpha 2 equals, um, you know, this s goes away. And then I have um, alpha 2 equals 2. Okay, so that was the first one, and uh, let's see, so let's say alpha, let's say s equals um, negative one-third. Okay, so I'm, I'm plugging these in to get rid of, of terms, okay, so that term is going to go away, that term is going to go away, and then I'm going to have 2 equals alpha 3 times um, negative one-third squared. Okay, so that's going to be alpha 3 is going to equal 18. Okay, and then I can plug in um, any value of s now. I have alpha um, 2 and alpha 3. So let me just make this easy, and I'll plug in a value of s equals 1. So I have 2 equals, um, that's going to be 4 times alpha 1. Okay, we need to solve for alpha 1, um, plus um, alpha 2, which is going to be 2, times um, 4, plus alpha 3, which is 18, times s squared, which is um, s is 1. Okay, so I have uh, 2 equals 4 times alpha 1, plus, um, that's going to be 26. Okay, and then... Uh, 4 times alpha 1 equals um, negative 24. 
Okay, and then uh, alpha 1 then is going to equal negative 6. Okay, so I have my alpha 1, my alpha 2, and my alpha 3. Um, okay, so let me just go ahead and plug these in. Um, so this is going to equal um, negative 6 over s plus, and then alpha 2 is 2 over s squared plus 18 over 3s plus 1. Okay, so each of these I can find um, values in the Laplace tables that will convert each of these back to the time domain. Um, and so that's going to be negative 6 times uh, a step. Okay, that's just going to be a step. And then I have plus 2 times uh, a ramp, 2 times t, and then plus 18. Um, Let's see, let me get this one right here. I believe that's number five in the loss tables. Um, so if I go to five, okay, so I see um, this one. Um, and that's one divided by S plus B, okay. So um, actually, let me use uh, six, okay. That one is our form here. That's just one over tau times e to the minus t of a tau. Okay, so I'll come back um, come back here and that's going to be 18 times, okay, so 1 divided by 3 e to the minus t over um, 3. Okay, so there is my expression for um, this one. Um, and then I just had a negative there and then a time delay of 5. Okay, so what that's going to do is it's just going to, uh, I'm going to multiply by a negative, and then wherever I see time, I'm, so I'm going to use the uh, number 26 here for the time delay. Okay, so this one uh, right here for the time delay, um, and uh, wherever I see time, I'm going to substitute in with time minus time delay, and then multiply by a step with time minus time delay. Okay, so in this case, that's going to be um, yeah, multiplying through by the negative. Okay, so 6 times s of t minus uh, 5 plus 2 times t minus 5. I had to replace time with the time delay and then multiply by a step function. Okay, and then uh, I'm going to add this last term, 18. Um, and then e to the t minus 5. And uh, divided by um, tau, which is our 3. And then I'll multiply all of this as well by t minus 5. OK, and um, you know I forgot the negative signs there. OK, I had to multiply through by negative 1 as well. Or um, okay, so that was this term number two. Now you'll see that term number three. The only difference is that you have a positive sign, but then seven time delay um, instead of five. So I'm just going to adapt uh, term number three from term number two, and that's just going to be um, change the sign on all my terms, and then replace that with seven instead of the five. For the time delay. Okay, so let's just go through that and then add 18. So that's going to be 6. Uh, 18 divided by 3. Uh, 6 e to the minus t minus 7 divided by 3. And then we'll multiply that by s of t minus 7. Okay, so I think we're done now. Um, so what we did is we we took this um, expression, okay, so we had um, we had an, an x function which we sketched out, okay, to come up with something like this, but we wanted to know what um, y of t was going to be. Okay, so that's probably going to be something like that.